Claire, hi, how are you? Hi, Laura, how are you? I'm really good. Oh my goodness, what's with all these amazing backgrounds? That is so good. I know. It's I've been inspired by the scripts of the garden and the bench. And uh, yeah, so this is my favourite background. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks so peaceful and idyllic and beautiful. And there's even the bench in the background. I know, well. the bench is there. The bench is there. It helps the client kind of get into the mode before, you know, with the pre-chat that we have. Absolutely. Helps them to really, you know, get into it. I love that. It's fantastic. <laughs> so for everybody watching this today, can you give your full name and whereabouts in the world you're based and a little bit about yourself? Well, my name's Claire Osborne and I'm based in Cheshire, UK. Um, my background, wow, I've uh, always been on a spiritual journey um, from, you know, the beginning really. Um, and um, I think I just kept finding spiritual topics and, you know, spiritual paths to go down because I've always been inclined to be that way. Um, but you've just kind of been born this way which a lot of people do feel that they are the same. They're kind of just born this way. There wasn't any particular awakening as such. Um, I've just always been this type of person, really, and followed this path. So how did you first become aware of hypnotherapy and this kind of spiritual technique? Well, obviously, Dolores Cannon is the, the key one. Yeah. <laughs> the key one. Um, I started reading her, her books, um, but there was also another book I read. I don't remember the author at, at the moment, um, but I think it was called Soul Journeys. Yeah. Um, and then there was Destiny of Souls. Yeah. And that was so, kind of the first. Yeah. Michael, that was the, Michael Newton. That's the it. Journey Michael of Newton. Souls. Yeah. Yeah. Journey of Souls. And um, that was kind of the first, you know, when I went into reading about, you know, past lives or lives in between lives. And then moved on to Dolores Cannon as well. Um, I just find it all very, very fascinating. And it just sits with you that it's the truth. And it just sits right with you. Because um, there's so much information out there that you're just like, mm. and then when you start reading these types of books, you just like, this resonates with me on so many levels. Um, so that's kind of how it started. And then obviously in between then, so many other different spiritual books. And then obviously, you know, when the internet started becoming more popular and YouTube, you started watching things on there, you know, you just, and then obviously came across you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what did you think when you came across me? How, how were you searching for Dolores Cannon things and then I just popped up? Yeah, it was more, um, you know, past life regression kind of because because once you've obviously delved as deep as you can with Dolores, you then want to see where else this particular topic will go, and then you put in past life regression, and you came you come across a few. There's not many though that cover this field. Um, so there's a there's a few top ones, which is yourself being one of them, um, and then of course I came across you and and the depth that you were going into was so interesting. And then obviously with your personality and your character that comes through as well, which is just like, you know, this is a genuine human being, you know, just sharing herself and what she does. So that I resonated with massively and, um, you know, I've been following you for as long as you've been on there. And there was one particular video that you did, and I can't remember 100% which one it was, but there was one particular video that you did that I just, I felt so much in my heart and I just burst into tears and I just felt such passion for what you were doing. And you know, in this world, the way it is now, it's, it's hard to feel that deep down passion, you know, of your life and what's going on and what you want to do. And I just thought, I really, really need to do this. This is my path. And then, of course, I contacted you, not thinking you would at all message <laughs> <laughs> me back. Because, I mean, you know, you're famous. Why would you message me back? Um, and you just did. You were just, you know, so supportive and so encouraging and ready to to help me on this path that I that I wanted to go down so um yes I thank you so much for that it's changed my life absolutely changed my life and you know you are an absolute natural thank you an thank absolute you. natural 
from the second that you started on this journey it mm. is what you are that you were yeah. born to do it is your path yeah. you are absolutely fabulous at it um yeah. i can't recommend you enough so i just feel really really grateful that you found me and that um i have been able to, to share this journey with you as well it is amazing and even the after supports you know because sometimes when you you know take a course when you're done you're done but what you have created is a family um and it is so amazing and you are there the whole way with us for anything not even about ACHH for anything you are there we are just all bonded now we're a family and also with the other practitioners that have come forward I mean I've never met the most amazing people in my life their yeah. stories, their paths, their journeys of who they are. And then obviously interconnecting what our relationships are. You know, once we are doing sessions with each other, we're connecting into, you know, our lineage of past lives and who we are in other lives that we've known each other. And it's absolutely fascinating to see how we all connect in with each other. Isn't I absolutely it? love it. I love it so much. I find it just so beautiful how the divine works and you know in this lifetime we think we're all meeting each other for the first time yeah. and you know even though it feels amazing from the second you connect and you think wow this person's energy you know it's for me I, I really resonate with this person they feel like home yes. and, that, and that's what I found with everybody that has yeah. come towards um, you know SCHH everybody feels like home yeah it is amazing and each each person has a different thing you can connect into um you know Lynette and I we get on really well she's <laughs> so funny <laughs> um and we, like I said we've had quite a few past lives um with each other as as you know Arcturians and things I think I was a pet of hers at one point um and then you know connecting with that and then um Tasha as well like her and I are really we we've got like such a tie on the other side which is quite fascinating and we've got a very similar life path Bob, that we've chosen to go down um she blames me she's like this is your plan <laughs> your plan oh well, yeah probably and, um, she, and she's based all the way over in Australia and it's amazing isn't it all yeah. over the world so had you not have connected through this you know yeah you might never have stumbled upon each other this so, is it this is it yeah. so it's fantastic and then we've got you know Derek in South Africa I love Derek love him <laughs> his energy is unbelievable I love it you know and we've got people like Tina and Erin yeah. um, and Bella you know, they've got like a whole nother vibe, which is very high vibe. You know, I love that as well. Very supportive, very, very supportive people. And then obviously there's more people coming in to the nits of the group who are coming in to train and realizing themselves that, you know, we're a family and, and they themselves are joining in and sharing themselves with us. Um, and it's just getting bigger and bigger, which, yeah. which we're all really, really enjoying and connecting in with one another. It's wonderful yeah and so since you've learned the technique and you've been doing so many sessions I mean you're really really busy tell me how you found it well obviously in the beginning as you would with anything you take on that's out of your comfort zone um and a lot of practitioners feel the same way you you feel you know your first or second session might not go as well as what you expected um and what does what does you know but practice 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 makes perfect you know what I mean um and confidence that's the key as well it's just having that confidence to get up and just keep going and keep doing it um so but as I started you know getting I think it was my second session where I dealt with one of um, my friends because we obviously, obviously have to do practice sessions and I dealt with a friend and I removed a cord from an abdomen that was attached to an X. And you don't realize the healing that you do. So I re removed this cord. And then later on in the week, she came back to me and said that obviously now she's with her current partner in a more intimate way. 
she can feel everything more going on where the yeah. cord was attached. So we've removed that cord and cut that energy that was sucking her. And now she's in her body. She's feeling her partner. So yeah. I was like, wow, that's amazing. And you know what? Right? It's unbelievable how many of those you will find. Yeah. Cords coming out of the sacral um, energetic center into previous relationships, into other people. Yes. And it's siphoning the sexual energy away from that individual. Yes. And it's not until you do these types of sessions and you become aware of these cords and you take them off that that individual ends up getting their sex life back. Yeah. Or ends up getting their creativity back or their feelings of joy back. They didn't even yeah. realize, but it was all being siphoned off this is um, it it's superb it, it is amazing. and that was my second one and I was like wow yeah. okay, cool, I've got this um yeah. but yeah and it was just it is just about just getting in and practicing and I know with other practitioners some of them have taken a little bit longer to jump in because everybody you know takes things at their own pace um but also part of our group is encouraging them it's okay no one's going to judge you let's just you know, practice on me or practice on, I mean, I know a few of them who've never done sessions before use me as, as, you know, the client. Um, cause I, I go under quite easily. Um, so they use me as the client and they do amazing. They do absolutely amazing, you know, better than I did when I first tried my one. Um, so yes, it, it is amazing to, for them to practice on each other and get the support they need as well. And also just stepping into this position, it's not just a job. It's yeah. far more than a job. And the more you do it, you start to realize like this is much, much bigger, you know, not just for what you do for your clients, but for your own self-growth yeah. and for your own growing and connecting into who you are as a light being and with your higher self. You know, so it's, it's, it's like a double, you know, duplicate growth as you go along with doing this job. You're so right. It, mm -hmm. it allows you to get to know who you are as well. Yes. Um, that's one of the, the best things that I've found mm -hmm. through doing yeah. this work is that you find out more about you. And it's yeah. just, it's so rewarding. I mean, from a soul level, it is so rewarding to see somebody and connect with somebody who looks so dejected so sad uh you can tell that they don't have the full force of their energy within them they've got energetic parasites or cords mm -hmm. whatever it is um you find out what it is that they they're looking for in terms yeah. of healing you do the session with them you find that there's entities or earthbound spirits or cords and you take all of those off then you take them on a quantum travel and they find out who they are over here and when you then you bring the higher self through and you do some more healing there find out all the answers to the questions and then when you bring them out they're just a different person yeah yeah they are entirely intrinsically changed because yeah. it's like um it's like a cleanse but it's like a cleanse for the soul yeah because you're taking all of that density of energy from this lifetime off with the entities and the cords and the earthbound spirits and all that kind of thing and the energy parasites you're helping them to connect in with another part of their soul elsewhere yeah. and they bring some of that back through so when um, they come back out you know they look they look alive again they've yes. got They've got more of their energy available because we've cleaned their energy centers. We've reinforced mm. their aura. We've cut all of the cords off. So all of their energy is available to them. Yeah. And for the first time, you see light in people's eyes. Their energy is back. Their yeah. soul is back. And it's like they've been asleep for a while, almost sleepwalking. Yeah, I've noticed that. Some of them come out and say, like, I feel taller. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah but that can happen sometimes when they've connected with another part of themselves that are really tall yeah yeah and, and then <laughs> they will feel taller but it is it's that sense of having more of yourself available to you um mm -hmm. because something that we don't really we're not taught this um in the mainstream but we just think of ourselves as this physical body that's it that's mm -hmm. who we are but there's this whole energetic body that we have as well yeah. and this is where the issues come in this is the part of the puzzle that they're not telling us that they don't want us to know 
Exactly. As soon as we become aware of that energetic body and how these um, parasites and how, how things can, can siphon the energy away from you, it then starts to make you understand how the physical body becomes impacted. Yeah. And so yeah. the level of healing that you can actually do with this work is it's unparalleled. It is, that is amazing. It's revolutionary. It is the way forward for healing moving yeah. forward in the next in the next um, space that we're moving into. Um, and I feel so passionately about it, as as um, I'm sure you can tell. Um, yeah, well, I think we're all feeling very passionate about it. It, it is. It's yeah. amazing. And I just I love as well when clients come in and they are. I don't know who I am. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know, you know, where I'm going in life. Um, and there's a certain age group I've noticed. It's not really the younger ones. The younger ones are still like, you know, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? It's when you get to your, you know, middle age, you, you just haven't really achieved what you thought you were going to achieve. You don't know what's going on with your life. You might be going through a midlife crisis. You know, you thought you would have had it all figured out by then. And a lot of people don't. Um, and they just want some answers as well to you know, what, what, what next? Where am I going? I don't feel fulfilled in what I was supposed to do according to, you know, what, you know, you follow the path of your parents, you get a job, you go to university, you get married, you have kids, you know, white picket fence, but they still come out of it at the end of the day going, I just don't feel anything like, oh, where's my, you know, where, what's my purpose? What's my passion? Um, so they do come for this as well. And then when they connect into their higher self, they get these answers. I mean, even people that have gone through trauma, you get that, why me? Why has this happened to me? Why, why, why? They, when they delve into their higher selves, they get a clear picture of this is why. This is why you had to go through this because look at who you are now. Look at what you're going to become now. So it's important to also get that clarity for people who have deep trauma you know of what's happened to them and they get a better understanding walking out not necessarily being a victim anymore but being a survivor and a warrior that is superb yeah. how you've just described that is absolutely superb and yeah. some of the most transformative sessions that i've seen is when you take somebody who comes in and they are just they're just broken and they do mm. they feel that that victim mentality why did this happen to me but when you allow them to connect with that higher level of spiritual perspective and they can literally see from the other side why they set this particular journey up for themselves yes. and what it was that they were hoping to achieve by it mm. and there might even be a karmic angle to that as well in terms yes. of karmically redressing something that's occurred earlier on in another part of the quantum field when you give them that perspective and they can look at these traumas and think oh i'm not a victim I actually set that up so I could have more of an awareness of this feeling so I can empathize. So now I can go out there and become the most amazing healer or I can help people in this area or I can teach children and, and really understand what and, mm -hmm. and what they walk out then thinking, wow, I get it. And it gives yeah. them that total sense of release, relief, perspective and purpose. And yes. that's one of the best things because through this modality, you can help everybody heal. Yes. So if it's energy parasites that have attached in this lifetime because of traumas that have occurred that have caused their energy centers to become impacted, it fractures the aura, the entities attach, then this modality can take those off. And yes. then you can get the client into that really deep theta brainwave state so that they can access another part of the quantum space that's going to give them the answers that they need um you can do all of the energy work with the cords and the, the realigning of the energy centers and the aura and it's just it heals the entire soul and yes. we, we become these investigators across quantum time and space and i know and it's just it's so interesting Is i think picking it, up a book yeah Every client is a book that you're picking up with a story that, yeah. um, and not, no session is the same ever. No. Nothing. No. I mean, obviously how you get them to that theta state is the same process, which is obviously your technique to get them under. Um, but 
when you open that door, then it's like, where are we going? You know, and you, and you don't know. You you can kind of predict. Sometimes you can think, oh, maybe they've got this because this happened, or maybe this phobia is because they died of this in another lifetime. But yes. really, you don't know what you're going to get until no until you go in there. No idea. I remember yeah. one of my sessions where um, I I think it was my fourth session. Um, the this lady, she, she's one of my friends. She's a crystal healer, amazing woman. This was my first non-human life that she had. <laughs> and she was an aquatic being on another planet who collected stones of knowledge. Um, and I thought, wow, that this, I was expecting, you know, obviously you're expecting, you know, past lives, human lives, but this was my first non-human life that um, this lady had. And I was just like, what and you know you still need to try keep your calm and be professional but i was literally like yes get in this is amazing <laughs> <laughs> i yeah. think i had you in that space for a while i was like and then what happened and then what did you do and <laughs> yeah. how does that work <laughs> it's wonderful isn't it yeah absolutely fascinating i mean obviously you know we've been doing this for a while now you can come across any life any being i mean i, I obviously had someone as a tree which was an interesting experience because i didn't I mean, you obviously need to go through the process of that person's life and you, you pick particular moments in that life that they're showing and then you go to the end of their life and then that's the process of coming out and, you know, connecting into higher self. But I had absolutely no idea how to, how do you end a tree's life? Like, and he did mention, you know, we get, you know, sometimes we get chopped down and get used for wood and I thought that's, that must be when your life ends. So I said, what happens then? Yeah. Well, we just our energy just goes go back into the root system, and I was like, okay, that does not help me at all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I have to get creative and actually just rise him up out of the entire yeah. earth as this tree. Um, so yeah, you come across such unbelievable stories yeah. um, of different energies and different beings, um, which I find really fascinating. That's the best part of the job, isn't it? And the yeah. healing, the healing. That yeah, the healing is great, but. <laughs> But but the interesting stories and the galactic stuff. Wow. Even the even, you know, with with current situations, you know, there's a lot. And it's not just, you know, our group. There's many practitioners, you know, with different types of techniques, the QHHT and all these kind of things that are coming forward with the same similar stories. And then obviously, well, while our group is delving into asking the same questions, you know, what's going on on an energetic level, what's going on on this level, that level, we are getting, you know, lots of stories and we're connecting the dots and putting the puzzle together, which is also part of this that's quite fascinating as well. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. So as you've been doing the sessions, um, tell me about some of your favorite, most significant ones well you know you can't pick them because they're just all so amazing but I'll tell you about my first um interesting entity release oh yeah um yeah I'll tell you about that one um it wasn't done over over zoom it was actually in the room with the gentleman um again a friend um so I was in the room with the gentleman and um this man is the sweetest nicest man you could ever meet he literally wouldn't say buto goose kind of thing and then all of a sudden, this, you know, obviously the, this entity was presenting itself. We brought it through to communicate. He was snarling and chuckling at me as if like, who are you kind of thing. Um, so I was trying to like, obviously communicate and, you know, it's, let's, when did you attach? How long have you been there for? But his whole attitude was like, I'm not going to talk to you. You know, very arrogant and very, yeah. Um, nobody knows I'm here. This was the part that I thought was no one knows I'm here. You know, thinking that that the entity was smart. No one knows I'm here. Ha ha ha. I go, I know you're here. You you're speaking yeah. to me. And then it was like, oh, okay. You know, but then having that removed off of him, um, that was very interesting as well. Just you know, removing that entity because that was my first proper entity. And um, I was like, wow, but obviously I was in the room. So, you know, a lot of practitioners are still at the point where they're like, it's the safe, you know, it's the safe. Um, so you get that whole vibe. You're like, no, I'm stronger. 
I'm light, I am safe, and I've just moved that energy into the light with the assistance of the team of angels that are here with me. Yeah. I, you know, I'm here with strength doing this. Um, and I do remember, obviously, when he came out, I was like, you know, wow, because we obviously did a past life section as well. And I was like, oh, isn't that amazing? You know, you're a captain on a ship and everything. And he was like, what the hell was that? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. most people have got no clue. They've no. got no clue that they have these things attached to them. And what you've just said there as well, I'd like to touch on that. Um, you know, when you do entity removal, you have to be confident and yes. know with every fiber of your being that you mm -hmm. are protected as a member of the team of light because yeah. you are you are a fractal of all of you know of one of the archangels you are a piece of god on, yes. a, on a divine mission in this reality as a part of source to clean this place up yeah. and you are you are we are loved beyond measure they mm -hmm. the level of esteem and gratitude and reverence that they have for us as the ground crew for doing yeah. this work is unbelievable and so they will never let anything harm you they will never let anything happen to you you've got to stand there and think i know who i am yeah i am a piece of source and yeah. I am I am speaking on behalf of Source when you do that entity removal. And oh my goodness, I mean, before I was doing this entity removal in the online space, I used to do the same, do it all face to face. And the yeah. amount of dark, dark beings that yes. I have I have literally been toe to toe with. I've had people spit all over me. Wow. I've had people vomit all over me. I've had people throw things at me. I've had people writhing and gyrating and lifting up off the bed. I've um, had that. I've had it yeah. all. <laughs> the shaking, the shaking, and they're going, and you just like, are they having a fit? Like, because yeah. you get, you know, they're shaking and going. So it, it, it is a real thing. It does actually happen. It's um, real. It is real. Yeah. Whether, whether people yeah. choose to believe it or not, or acknowledge it or not, if you move into this space in hypnotherapy and you actually have a, a career in it where you are a working hypnotherapist and you keep working every week, you will at some point encounter a client who's got an entity and at that definitely. point you will believe <laughs> oh yes definitely especially when you can the, the tone changes and their voice yeah. either goes deeper or I do remember coming across a little boy um entity yeah. um and that was that was so precious because this child was crying and didn't want to leave um yeah. and I just thought to myself you know I've got little children how would I deal with this myself yeah. and I said to the, the, the attachment, the entity, let's leave a little present. Yeah. And then she'll never forget that you were there with her all the time. And that's the only way I could get that little boy to leave and be comfortable going was to leave a little present so she'd never forget him. And um, you will find a lot of children attached to people. Yes. And they always attach to light workers because what does a child do when it dies and it's scared and, you know, it doesn't really know what's happening? It, mm. it will go and stand with either another child, which yeah. then ends up growing up and becoming your client and coming to see you to say there's something going on with me and I don't know what it is. Or they will go and stand with an adult who looks nice. Yeah. Who's, who's all light and shiny and looks nice and then that's that light worker who comes to see you for a session and says there's mm -hmm. something going on here yeah. um, and with the children you are literally talking to the consciousness of a child so you, yes. talk, you talk to it as you would do your own children and you yes. go negotiate with it and reason with it just as you would do your own children to get yeah. them to go yeah. Um, obviously calling forwards all of their loved ones that may potentially have passed over since they passed and yeah. you know bringing Gabriel through who um, works with children who's who's really great with children uh, and Asriel also and mm -hmm. the, the child will eventually see somebody that resonates for them and they will go yeah but, yeah it is it is beautiful because it's obviously like I said there's obviously the the aspect of the you know the demon side of it that you can get all this evidence and then there's the aspect of letting a soul who hasn't crossed over to the light to go back home yeah. you know go back home and be with their loved ones that have passed over so there's those two things that you can you can do as well which is is amazing it's and amazing that, that's this. so rewarding isn't it yeah because yeah. you are then helping somebody who 
is voiceless. They haven't got a voice. They, yeah. haven't, they haven't got a physical body that they can even use to, to say, help me, I'm here. Yeah, there, there might yeah. be the odd person who's, who's clairaudient who can hear them, but they have essentially been voiceless since they lost their physical body. And yeah. there is something so beautiful and rewarding and um, heartwarming to be able to locate a lost soul and help it cross over. Because yeah. not only are you helping your client, but you're helping that soul. I know it's a two for one. It's exactly. A two for one. Or depending they, on how many they have on them, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. And then think of all of the souls that are connected to that soul that was lost. Because yeah. sometimes you can get so many souls on the other side that are, that are so, uh, they can't move on because they know that one of their soul family is still trapped over yeah. here. Yeah. So oh, the amount of healing that, that can be achieved. I mean, I find that so exciting. I do as well. I find it I do so as exciting. Well. Yeah, I think it's absolutely fascinating how you can help so many in yeah. just one single session. You know, it's amazing. So what kinds of information have you had through coming out about Ascension and the shift? Um, any Anything to do with that? Well, there's a lot of um, the wave. Everyone keeps talking about the wave. And... Um, Obviously, when I tap into my higher self, which is Octarian, which can be quite serious, um, and they very they have a very detached look from a distance kind of approach, um, and their attitudes, everything's going to be fine, everything's fine, everything is going as it should, but it's like, yeah, but you're not actually, you know, here, boots to the ground, um, but funny enough, we did a, I did a session with um, Tasha where she, I was the client under and um, we didn't guide it to go in this direction, but it kind of just went in this direction where there was all, I was one of these, all these light beings, which is our family, our whole family. And we were sitting down doing a plan um, and there is an end goal plan of where this is going and what we were also doing was designing our own individual plans because you know if we're going to come here we might as well gain experience knowledge wisdom in our own plan and then we're having little group plans but then there was the big plan of where it's going um, and they were showing me all this and other things I've been in as well is showing the wave everybody i mean yes there are many waves which is quite interesting waves of energy waves of frequency waves of all sorts coming through um and what they were showing is that we the light workers and the star seeds whichever name you want to give it we are the wave yeah as well as other things coming forward as well as the earth herself is waving up you know, there's so many things. So hers is coming forward in natural ways of this happening on the earth. And then there's the energetic wave of us coming. There's parts of solar waves that are coming. It's a team effort. It's not a, just a one thing. It's a team effort of bringing about where we are going, which yeah. is very, very interesting as well that, I, that I've been picking up and I've been seeing and with obviously regressing, me being regressed and then regressing others. Um, some are finding it harder to, you know, be in this energy as it is because it, it looks dense and it's trying to bring about the feeling of a lower vibrational density, but it's all an illusion. So some people are finding it difficult in the illusion of what they're seeing where others are standing aside, seeing it as an illusion and understanding that we need to stand in the true reality of the vibration that's actually here. It's incredible, isn't it? I know, I know. <laughs> it's like watching a movie. Yeah. Oh, I just find it all fascinating. I mean, I could, think, I could think about ascension and the wave and the event I mean, the amount of sessions that I'm getting at the moment as well about um, Ascension and the event and how it's going to occur. I've got some incredible stuff to share if I can get the time to vlog it. Um, but it literally is like what you said there. There are so many parts to this, so mm -hmm. many players all playing their role. And when all of these moving parts just slot into place, it unlocks and 
wow, I, I just cannot wait for that moment when we feel it, we know it, it's here. Wow, we've done it, we've made the yeah. transition. That is going to be the biggest party. I mean, can you even begin to imagine that party? <laughs> oh, my, I am waiting, it's coming. But you can see it's starting to unfold. If you pay attention, it is unfolding bit by bit. Yeah. Um, and this is what people need to understand that things need to get a little bit hairy for it to be seen and then to be rejected as this is not acceptable. We do not resonate with this anymore. And it has to come forward. It has to come up. I say to people, I said, you know, when you watch a movie and it's all action packed and it's going, I said, you know, the last 10 minutes where it's really intensely action packed and you're like, oh, are they going to make it? Oh, it's, you know, we're there. This is where we are. <laughs> you are here. <laughs> yeah, you are here now. And then the, obviously the last, you know, 10 minutes or the last like five minutes, everything's happy. You know, the good guys won. Yeah, we, we still need to get there. But we are at that end point of where the movie is really hectic, you know. Yeah. But it is just a movie at the end of the day. If people just realize it's just a movie, a play and we characters. Yeah. And it, and it truly is that. It truly yeah. is that. And doing this kind of modality when you take people into the higher aspects of themselves, you can get that perspective of, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the dream in there. This is the real stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We'll eventually take our virtual reality goggles off, you know, put them down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we'll be like, oh, thank God for that. It was just yeah, all well a dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh so God. if people want to book a session with you how can they find you well they can find me in two places one being on your website as a practitioner um yep. so go all the way down to the bottom they'll see myself and all the other practitioners um whichever they wish to choose and then i basically work through facebook which will be claire osborne s-c-h-h practitioner so that's where you can find me there you know, just book if you want to, or just have a chat, you know, a lot of people are starting their spiritual journey, and they, they come for questions, before they want to pop into jumping into a session, they want to ask questions, you know, what is this like, what's that like, you know, and I'm there, I am there for those people, don't think that they can't just send me a message, you know, this is what, what I'm going through, this is what I'm feeling, what's the next step, I am there for those people all the time. Thank you so much. And you know, it's been an absolute pleasure to connect with your energy today. It yes. always is. And I, my heart feels boosted <laughs> from seeing you. And you are absolutely a natural at this. You. you really are. Um, and I can't wait to see you next time. Yes. So take care of yourself and I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye. All right, my love. Bye-bye. <laughs>